you said I am on city property. I'm actually standing on the shoulder of the road. Okay, here comes the sheriff. Let's see what the sheriff has to say. What are you doing, sir, here? Just filming and taking pictures. For what, sir? What is that? Uh, gathering content for a story that way. What kind of story? A story on the basis. Two of them? Yep. They already report. knows I'm here. Are they? Yep. I already talked to the person that's in charge of all the base security, Captain Cortez. I just met him over at Pearl Harbor. He already let security know that I'd be coming around this side. Can I see your ID, sir? Um, no, sir. Okay. No, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> no. The, what? He said that uh, he already had. Uh, uh, he already knows I'm here. With them? They were notified. Okay. Captain Cortez. They're the person that's in charge of all of them. I already met him when I was over here filming the fleet commander's headquarters and filming Pearl Harbor. We had like <clears throat> eight MPs show up all at once. They're threatening arrest and all this. Captain Cortez came out and told them they couldn't do anything. What I'm doing is legal. Had all of them stand down. He radioed over to this gate to let them know I would be coming around to this side, filming the federal prison and also the Kuntz gate over here so there wouldn't be any surprises. Apparently, nobody told you guys. No. <laughs> uh, I was, I was concerned is, uh, we got to call you was filming the airport area. Yes, we are. We filmed the airport too. A memo was sent out letting you guys know we can film the airport. As hey, long as we you are. You guys you gotta let somebody know because you're coming out no, filming. Sir. You no, don't sir. let nobody know. Nobody know what's happening. That's only so. if we're on airport property. If we're behind the fence. Then we have to let them know we have to get permission. As long as we're out here on publicly accessible areas, we don't have to notify anybody. This is all covered under the First Amendment. This is freedom of the press. Is it possible you can send uh, pro people out this area? What's hey, your name and badge number? My name is Henry Batun, sir. Batun? Yes. And your badge number? 408. 408, thank you. I'll wait. Your name and badge number? Ken Finch. Finch? 472. 472. Thank you, sir. And you film it because? I'm gathering content for a story. Shooting what we can see from a publicly accessible area. We're not going on to federal property. We're staying on public right-of-ways. And even the federal prison didn't have a problem. Two of their guards, I can't speak for them. I, two of their guards came out and actually waved at me. Him. One guy staying up on the roof the whole <laughs> time watching me. Two of them waved at me. Went on about the business like they're supposed to. Uh, apparently this guy went to court. See, we're just concerned because somebody reported it, sir. That's why. Did I see you earlier? Oh, uh, no, sir. I was oh, oh, you, my I see there. a difference now. You kind of look sort of like one from earlier over at uh, the commander's. Well, I was filming over there. Yeah, I see the rank different now. <laughs> yes, we have 
Air Force MP has arrived now. And also Gate here at Hickam Air Force Base uh, after they were notified that we would be coming over. Uh, Captain Cortez notified the base security they expect me. I get around over here. Now we have one, two, three, four, five sheriffs and one Air Force MP has showed up. How far you get some identification from me? No, sir. You're not to identify no, I'm asking you, sir. I'm not saying you're required to do anything. Yes, it's just the same yeah, as I, I figured this. if I was being courteous to you by giving you my name and badge well, number, it wouldn't be a problem with me getting the identification from you. RC. I will so, give you that. Much. If, if, it was, if I knew that would have been a problem, I wouldn't give you my name and badge okay. number. I thought we worked both ways here. No, I'm not saying you did anything but wrong. I can't take you to jail. I'm not taking. I'm taking you to jail. <laughs> so there is a little bit of difference. But I'm, I'm taking you to jail. I am sir. not a I'm public just, servant. All I'm doing is inquiring here. That's right. all I'm doing. So I will say, RC I'm not copying is an what everybody or calls me. I've, I've been cooperative I'm, with you. I'm, I'm also trying to. Okay. What we do is, we try to reply the same way that we are. Well, so okay, this when the officer came up. Sir. You know, he's it's high, more like you're giving you me attitude. I'm, I just ask you simple oh, questions. Oh no, I'm, I'm not giving any attitude that's at all. all. That's all I'm The doing. military police earlier, uh, they got attitude when they first arrived because they approached me with attitude. Well, so I told I'm them if they them, thought I was sir. doing something wrong, arrest I'm, me. Uh, all I did was came up. and I started talking so, to you politely and, and everything. That's one good. That's all I, I did. Being cooperative. I, I, I just want to give you something. identification. That's but you're going to ask for identification for everybody else, but you won't give it. No, because so is I'm that not being, required is that being to. Polite? In the state of Hawaii, I'm not required to so identify what, myself what unless you? I'm being arrested. I know the law. I'm not saying we you follow don't know the law. law. We know exactly what we All can. I'm just asking you, is that okay. being polite? You asked me for identification, I tell you my name and badge number. Well, no as problem. Because I you're a public you servant. You're not going to cooperate with me. I am cooperating. I said... People call me RC. Said, that's okay. that's what I, I go I, by. I'm not going to say nothing else because you're just doing things you over I'll just try to be polite and talk to you. But I'm, I'm trying mind. to be polite. No, you, you I'm just not trying to identify right. myself because I'm not required to. I'm not saying you are required to. I just, like yeah. I said, I identify myself I was just as RC. To you. That's what so people we call let me. It, we let it go at that. Okay. If you want me to, I will pop an attitude. If you want me to, I can do Sir, that. I, I'm, I'm not to doing him. that. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Okay. okay, guys. Hey, Captain. 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 Hey, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like eight deputies on the scene right now. The military police are still here as well. 
Sorry for taking pictures. Filming whatever I can see. Uh, no, you can't say that. I can't say that. Sir. Well, you can say it, but I, I don't have to follow it. About fine, I'm, I'm picturing one of those stories. Oh, you yeah, are definitely in it. Will be in it. You are definitely in it. You're actually being live streamed to the internet right now. Uh, we will be in for it, but you don't have permission to do that. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You are a public servant you don't in the, the public right performing you your duties. Yes. State of Hawaii has already said so. Okay. The court has already we'll said you can't do that. that. HPD tried the same thing. They got their hands slapped too. Yeah, that was the this is the First Amendment. If you try denying my First Amendment I'm rights, you will get sued. I'm not talking about me, I'm not talking about You're you. not a private individual right okay. now. You are a government official. You are a public servant. Okay. You have no right to privacy when you are wearing that uniform out in public I performing your duties. Do no, you don't. You have privacy when you're out of uniform off work. Then you have privacy. Okay. Not when you're wearing a uniform on the job performing your duties. You okay, have no sir. expectation of privacy. You, you know it all. The Supreme Court's already you said that. All. I do know it all. When it comes to what we can and can't do, I do know it all. I have thoroughly studied this. I've been studying this for years. I know exactly what we can and can't do. Now, if you were an undercover officer, that would be different. Then, I wouldn't know you. But you're not an undercover officer, you're a uniformed officer. You can be filmed. And besides, you approached me. You put yourself in my film. These two officers over here I'm have not over approached here. me yet. No, they haven't said a word to me. So they are not on my film yet.
sir. Question. Am I being detained? No. Uh, how about you detained? Thank you. I'm going to go about what I was doing now. I get some of these lights out of my camera so I can finish my business. Good evening, officer. Okay, so apparently this one right here, the unidentified officer, and staying at the back of the SUV. He came over, just to the, the officers, and everybody started leaving. Some of the planes. All I ask if you stay at a roadway because it's dark here. I don't yeah, want you to get hit by a car. Oh yeah, we're staying over on the sidewalk over there. You mind uh, just move between the cars and that way you don't get hit. Yeah, we're actually just getting ready to leave here as soon as okay. they leave. So you're gonna go to the <laughs> other side of the airport? Yeah. Okay. Um, just out of the airport now. Filming the airport. Uh, what? Why are you filming the airport? Just out of curiosity. Are you? Uh, because it's there. It's there. I oh, don't know. Uh, just why I, just I like filming there. planes. So while I I'm over you. here. I'm gonna go ahead and film some planes. Okay, okay. Plane, then. Planes taking off, landing. Okay. Instead of having to waste another trip back over here, I'm already <coughs> right here at the airport now. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some film on that right here. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, if you could just uh, move between the cars so you don't get yeah, hit. Yeah, I was trying to get some of the lights out of the, out of the flare from the lights out of it.
this is a complete surprise. And we have another one hiding around the corner, right back over there. This one was a complete surprise. I was expecting the Air Force and Peace to be the one I had to worry about. And then it turned out to be the sheriffs who we have to worry about. Let's go ahead and pull that out of my pocket. Staying behind the line. So, are we going to have this again on the other side of the airport? Should I go ahead and order coffee and donuts, bring around for everybody? Guys, have a good night. I'm gonna go around the other side of the airport now, shoot some planes. Just be careful, okay? 